She was raised in Cleveland Heights and is now a successful businesswoman in Atlanta, owner of a spa there and author of a book on skin care. And she's here this weekend joining us with some skin care tips for you. Lisa Porter is her name. And Lisa, i got to start with how do you get into business. I've never never done that. and You've done it and successfully. Yes, as a matter of fact, thank you. Back in 1996, uh, my husband and I opened a skincare salon in Atlanta and it started off very small as you can imagine just beginning. We um, weren't sure of how it was going to go or what we were going to do. We had a pretty good plan in place but you never know until you work through it how it's going to turn out. Fortunately for us we were able to grow and now here we are 10 years in business going strong um, we just um, a lot of prayer and hard work <laughs> I, I love to hear those success stories but most people say it's not easy it's not easy <laughs> it's definitely not easy let's talk about skin care for people because you do specialize in that in this book every woman's guide to looking and feeling sexy from head to toe has a lot to do with skin care there's some things that you brought in that uh, that I have in my bathroom that guys use too, and, and some not. So why don't <laughs> right. you touch on the basics? Okay, these are the things that I brought that basically anyone could use, mm -hmm. regardless of your skin type, because um, most people aren't really sure where they fit because it changes from one season to another. Mm. So what I did was I just brought some things that you could easily use at home. Basically, there's only two types of masks for this face. You can only use, you're either going to use a mask that pulls out uh, impurities or bacteria, things like that, oil or it's going to put in moisture. Mm. This special clay mask here is something that um, the consistency is that that it would dry and tighten so it's going to pull out. That's really good for anyone's skin, especially with this weather that you guys are having mm -hmm. now. It's so hot and humid, so the, ten, the skin tends to get congested. And Clean this, it out. Clear. Exactly. This cleans it out and clears it up. The opposite of that would be like the honey almond scrub. I love this product in particular because you can use it as an exfoliation. The almond meal is very, very fine, so it's not abrasive. Mm -hmm. It doesn't scratch the skin, but it'll allow the skin to actually um, be free of that congestion and dead skin cells. But also you can leave it on and let the honey act as a softener and a toner to hydrate the skin. So that's really good. So that's an example of putting in to the skin the mm -hmm. moisture or either taking it out with a special clay. Um, SPF is something that everyone needs. Yeah. Um, this is really something that I know African Americans in particular think, well, you know, we don't really use that because we don't really hang out in the sun too much. But really and truly, everybody, if you have skin, could use that on a daily basis because it just provides protection from the sun and the environment as a whole. Um, and then lastly, I've got the foot and leg smoothing lotion. This is something that I know because a lot of people go around barefoot or you're at the beach or even just wearing sandals. This is that season. This helps tremendously with keeping the calluses down, keeping the, leg or the legs and the feet very smooth, very soft. Um, so this works really good because it has a glycolic acid in it, and that's really good. Okay, Lisa Porter, ex-Clevender, now Atlantan, successful <laughs> in her business, and with some ideas for all of us on how to keep our skin in good shape. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you. And we'll be right back.